<laughs> it would seem that somebody has left a bunch of Vikings unattended. Are they the same Vikings that kidnapped all of our people yesterday? No. No, they are not. But somebody is getting fisted. And it seems as if these guys have volunteered. Ohm? You know what? I'm not going to say what I was about to say. <laughs> Ohm? Politely punch that child. Emphasis on punch and not anything else. Incredible. It was a success. Kill them all. Kill them all. He just punched that person so fast that they flew through a wall. Did you see that? What the hell even happened there? Well, I think we can consider that a success. Welcome, everybody, back to RimWorld, where I thought a revenge fist was necessary after the disaster yesterday that cut down our colony from 25 to just, well, 14 technically. And then, of course, Arcadius II was miraculously born right afterwards. I think it's fairly safe to assume a bunch of stinky Vikings had nothing thing of value 37,000 you say beta poly Danax. uh, uh hyper alloy guardian helmet you know what? i think i'm gonna take a look around before we leave eternium longsword 501 dps <laughs> hyper alloy guardian helmet 300 percent sharp armor and it gives a bonus to melee hit chance, too. Oh. Um, take these. Take these trophies. Friendship ended with fisting. Impaling for all of eternity is my new best friend. Wow. I just wanted to go out there and do a little bit of revenge fisting. I wasn't expecting to get some incredibly legendary artifacts out of it. Now, while Ohm is off avenging those who have been lost, Arcadius II, little, little Arcadius, has been here making shoes. I, I did make some tray mat for him. The training material that you essentially can't finish a project with, so you can do it forever. The problem is the lowest requirement out of any stuff or material I saw with it was three. And poor little Arcadius II has a crafting skill of two. So I've had him made shoes until his collapse, and then hopefully we'll be able to start him on his, on his actual training later. But I'm really, really hoping we can get this training workstation as soon as possible. True automation begins with Eula's identity. Look at that. Pie is pie. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't need to read the rest. Leonard Euler developed mathematics systems for intermacractions between physics, geometry, and algebra, but not spelling, unfortunately. <laughs> After all of that Viking fisting, I got a real pain in my intermacraction. <laughs> I don't know why, but I was convinced base game remold clubs and knives took three crafting each. Turns out, they really don't. So we're going to make a knife out of tray mat. Oh my god. It's Phoebe Chillax. Wait, well, I thought we were already on Phoebe Chillax. Surely the uh, hot seat mod wouldn't let you change from storyteller to storyteller, right? Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. When we had those robot traders yesterday, we swapped from Phoebe to Randy and then... No. Phoebe to Randy, Randy to Phoebe? Maybe that's what we just did. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Oh, look at that. There you go. Unfinished tray mat knife takes bloody ages. And given that Paul little Arcadius II has absolutely no skills or passions, it will take him even longer. Now, one thing I did do is tell our mining robots to always mine up to 10,000 silver. Didn't want so much that it introduced, you know, an unnecessary amount of colony wealth for any particular reason. <laughs> I figured it gives us enough to buy... You know, kind of weird special things that we might see. They actually haven't even mined that much yet. Lazy. What the hell is Y Composite? Added by Project Room Factor Insanity. Holy crap. <laughs> that is insane. Not only does it give 400% bonus to the damage. Well, I suppose it's 300% bonus to the damage. 40% uh, melee cooldown as well is actually insane. Mecha Brain. What the hell is that? An intricate mesh network infused with mechanisms and encases the entire brain. Encases the entire brain. Okay. I wonder if we could put that on Arcadius too. Consciousness, sight, hearing, talking is up. Mood is up by 15 permanently? I'll take a mecha brain. Doctor implant here just for Ohm would be incredible. Gives a 10% to all sorts of medical treatments. That's quite nice. <laughs> Beta poly arcade machine. Why? Yeah, all right. Yeah, uh, fuck it. I'll buy it. 
I mean, look, we could just buy it and take it apart at, at the minimum. Uh, oh man, I'd really like that ultra screen television too. But it could just also be really, really good. And I'll sell them some Devil Strand to make up the difference. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a fairly good trade. We're selling a bunch of drugs and drinks for insanely powerful bionics. Arcadius the second. There we are. Install Mechanite Brain Implant. New lovers? Dawn. Oh, Dawn and Bone Crusher Jones. Hey, that's quite good. Completing his cooking skill. Um. <laughs> I've got some bad news for you there, Chief. Bone Crusher Jones is a Sabat and Dawn is a Pepper Stasis. At this point, it makes no difference. They're all basically siblings anyway. Oh, Ohm is back. <gasps> Not just any Ohm. Golden Ohm. With his glowy blue sword that does... Disgusting amounts of damage. <laughs> I welcome those Vikings to come back. Oh, now someone in the comments said, look at the Cyberstorm tab and build this thing here, the materials workbench. Whoa, my God, that was fast. Wow. <laughs> I won't ask. What, what you guys do in the privacy of your golden four poster bed is your own concern. Oh, that's something I meant to do. So, Cimerium, the resource added by uh, Mechalit, I think the mod is called again. That stuff that that hauling bot has right there. Hey, put that down. This thing here gives a bonus when uh, workstations built out of it, right? No, I actually built the materials workbench here. Oh, my God. Uh, Ultra Steel? Create a processor. Okay. Ultra Thread, Hyperweave, Plasteel. Holy crap. Anyway, what I was about to say is if we want to get research quickly, the simple solution is to rebuild the research benches out of Cimerium. What the hell is going on with the storyteller? We're back to Phoebe Chillax again. Rim Atomics. Actual full-on Rim Atomics. The problem with Rim Atomics is the nuclear facility, though very cool, is less power, essentially, than the nuclear reactors we've already got. And a lot of the endgame room atomics for research is... It's firearms. Well, it's turrets specifically, but they are firearms. There are a couple of things from room atomics that I definitely want. Drop pod scrambler being the, the, the primary one. Given that we're going to be doing a lot of research today, sterile tiles seems like a pretty sensible choice. Oh, interesting. I wonder if this allows us to make neutral people into... Attractive? Even though we got that other research that allows us to change appearance, there isn't any options here to make home more beautiful. I mean, the simple answer to that is because it's home. You couldn't get any better if we tried. Ah, that explains it. I couldn't figure out why we had a neuro enhancer and a learning assistant. Turns out you can't have that and other brain implants. In that case, I would rather have the other two installed back into little Arcadius. Do you think we could put the brain in home, though? Oh, or, or not. Well, I mean, that works fine as well. <laughs> I love that the one friggin' person we actually resurrect with Ohm's magic resurrect powers are now permanently zombified. I suppose, though, at least Ohm can be proud that it's a step up above blowing the head clean off. Boy, I really don't want any of these. I'll take Goju's production. Because Ohm amped up on Goju's with a glowy blue sword looking the way he does would be, would be fearsome. <laughs> I love that the... Three useful situations they come up with for the laryngoplasty is annoying voices, creepy breathing, or other botched laryngoplasties. Well, you never know when it might happen by accident, sure. A little bit more mining efficiency to help out with the eventual dream of a solid adamantium castle. What the hell is advanced armor? Up from Glittertech. Ah, uh, sure. Not that we have any use for it, but we've now done solar panels. Huge. Produce neutramine from stored chem fuel yes extremely high tier when we happen to have twenty thousand liters of chem fuel just sitting around waiting to blow up i can't believe you've done this bloody meteors oh the castle walls are holding thank god we built everything out of these freaking castle walls though even the cathedral eh i can really take a beating from it Wow. Well, good news. The cathedral might have been pounded by another meteor, but we can make people beautiful now. Good. I really don't understand how this works. It implies that you might need staggeringly ugly to turn them beautiful. I don't think you could just take a, a, a neutral individual. Furniture? Oh, it's props. All right, I see. I don't think you could take a neutral individual and, and make them beautiful, which is very bizarre. Ah, you can. It must have just been the advanced thing we a lot then. Ah, okay. 
Well, it will make sense if we gave that to absolutely everybody. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go through and we're going to give that to um, absolutely everybody. And the best part is, this is rumored. Lamarckism is alive and well. If we make the parents beautiful, the children will be born beautiful, despite the fact that it's all, well, it's all surgery. Oh. We haven't got any medicine. I take that back. You're all going to remain pig ugly. Oh, nice. That one is huge. Mechanic cabinet. Level three of our linkables here is going to be such a huge work speed. Of course, it doesn't work for the forges, but for the machining table where we're making all of this stuff, that's going to be massive. Now we can fist 15% faster. Mining bot 23? Was killed by a friggin' muffalo? What? Oh. <laughs> Well, that seems like the perfect thing to test out Ohm's new sword. Oh, the mining bot's attacking the muffalo? Well, it only has itself to blame then. I expect this sword to touch this muffalo and the damn thing to disintegrate. Okay, well, I mean that... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of exactly what I was hoping for. Worth pointing out that not only do we have our Ice Age happening right now, and potentially forever, we also have a cold snap. Minus 28 outdoors. Luckily, with the full armor setup, the hypothermia doesn't really get worse than shivering, so we... Don't have to worry about it. So what the hell? This child's been taking Ecstasia. <laughs> what is that? Industrial Exo. Unlock mechanized automated melee weaponry. That sounds incredible. What on earth does it mean? Like a like a turret, maybe? Or something that you wear that does extra damage if you're within melee range. Similar to that one time in the Robo Daddy series that we put miniguns on a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Except in this case, we're putting automatic fisters on everyone. It's going to be everyone. There it is. Industrial exo frame. Global work speed 50%. 300 carry capacity. Jesus, that's insane. Oh, but it is very expensive. You need 100 chem fuel per exo frame. If only someone had 20,000 liters of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's genuinely worth it to stop Ohm researching and have him only make these until everybody's got one. Oh, it matches his armor perfectly. Look at that. Well, that took, um, bloody ages, actually. But every single person now has their own exoskeleton. I think a 50% bonus to work speed across the board is pretty, pretty good. Pretty overpowered. But look what is next on the list. It's our big friggin' drill. On a spear. Drill spear. And we've got impact hammer. And we've got rocket lance. Play monster hunter now. Except. Oh. <laughs> uh, except where the monsters is what I was about to say before Larry was born. Hello, Larry. Oh my god. His grandmother is his cousin. <laughs> oh, and we also finished all of the flat jackets too. A few people asked me about this, but. Yesterday, we didn't have enough adamantium to, well, do any of my grand schemes, to be honest. So I had to make a bunch of steel flight jackets just to cover everybody up, right? Because it's better to have something than than nothing. But now we finally scrounged up enough adamantium to, to cover everyone. So we should be, I don't even want to say pretty unkillable at this point. We, we should be quite hard to kill anyway. Everyone's averaging like 188 on sharp and blunt defense. Oh, nice. The second bed. Right, now I've got to try and remember which dynasty is going where. So Arcadius clan is going there. Was it going to be Gravy Plasma to become the horrible flesh beasts? Or were they... Ah, oh, shit. Well, I mean, look, at this point, I think I will keep them as the horrible flesh beasts, given that the current patriarch is uh, a zombie. So Stasius can be the bionic clan. Fine. Let's throw you in here, then. Oh, there's a stat upgrade for combat. Melee hit and dodge chance both increased by 5%. I have to take that. You know what I'd really like, though? I would really like those AI discs before it's too late. I mean, don't get me wrong. Arcadius is basically only Arcadius. The second is, is, is only crafting right now with that ridiculous, you know, unfinishable knife that we've got. 6.83 crafting at the age of 10 to say he's got no passions in it whatsoever. Really isn't that bad. It's all thanks to the bionics, obviously. More new lovers. Cobalt and Taco Cat. Why did I feel like we didn't have anybody left? Oh, that's why. They must be polyamorous. Cuddles, Bonts, and Taco Cat. Just gonna go through every one of the sabats. Tick them off. Finally, somebody's watching something good on this bloody channel. Industrial beekeeping. I don't want your bloody industrial bees. Remote detonators. Okay, I do 
Oh, I do want explosives. How are we doing with the new Neutramine production? So the way it works is when they're on the console, it will it will create Neutramine from what we've got. 291? I mean, we could set up some good medicine production with that, I think. There we go. And now with the medicine operation, make everybody not hideous. My God, it's five medicine each. Holy shit. I'm going to be honest. I think everybody above 40, you get nothing. It's a well-known fact that once you're above the age of 40, there is no beauty. There is no beauty in life at that point. I'm so sorry to the uh, 15 to 20% of my viewers that are above the age of 40. <laughs> Just unusually cruel. <clears throat> I'm so sorry to the 15 to 20% of my hideous viewers. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the irony. Oh, poor Taco Cat. How did you crush her liver? You're only supposed to be doing facial reconstruction surgery. Fucking foot? <laughs> Dr. Ohm, you're still fucking sacked. Did we put that doctor implant in him? Oh, that'll be why he's making all these mistakes with his 34.08 medical. I love the fact at this point he just moved right onto Jones. Taco Cat, you're redeemable. Well, that's Arcadius' second facial reconstruction. Just gives him the beautiful trait. Wow. That's really, really good. Taco Cat has had the first facial reconstruction actually succeed this time. Oh, Cuddles has given birth. Was Cuddles one of the people to receive the... Yeah. They were one of the people to receive the surgery. Does that mean that the eugenics program has worked? No, it does not. Ocean Lover. We're in a friggin' desert, Penny. And I'm on migration, Joram is. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Kill them all, Ohm. One does not simply walk into Ohm's base. Joram here. Oh. <laughs> we have a mod that allows you to hunt with melee. The problem with it is you have to be directly next to them before your character will do it. So it's, it's not really very practical, I'll be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I think that will... um. That'll probably last us a while. Thank you, Ohm. <laughs> you know, maybe he was right all along. Maybe Ohm's town is guarded by more than just orc. Maybe there is an evil that does not sleep and a great eye that's ever watchful. Maybe it's a barren wasteland riddled with fire, ash, and dust. And the very air you breathe is a poisonous, poisonous fume. I think that's it. Or maybe it's just a fucking golden boy with a very, very sharp sword. <laughs> oh, I don't want your... Freaking coffee beans. I don't want you 2.5% medical. I don't want you 2.5% farming. All I want is data disks. We're going to have an entire generation of dense idiots. Dense idiots with awful hair. Joramir, for God's sake. Just help me. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. What the fuck? Uh, whose caribou is this? I didn't judge. Maybe he's here to help out with the crafting. There you go. Industrial roasting. Could have got that for free from the comment section by making a minor mistake in a video game. Hack. Ultratech database. We could start antimatter annihilation. Fuck it. I mean, if you won't let me educate the children, I'll build some antimatter weaponry. <laughs> antimatter technology unlocked. That's uh, that escalated quickly, eh? You are concerned that the data heist has angered the Ultratech faction. Well, it wasn't until you mentioned it. We will need a factory research terminal. A fucking what? Factory research ter- What the fucking hell's a factory research terminal? Which one of these 15 tabs is that gonna be hidden in? MISC. Factory research terminal. I can't see it there. Uh, industrial? Factory research terminal. Nothing. There it is, it's right there. I can see it, but I can't find it. No idea, give up. Fuck it. We're gonna build a particle accelerator. Well, that was fun. Now what? Now I guess we accelerate particles, huh? Right, okay, plasteel's in. Uh, and then you go change output side to there, because the other side are blocked. Then we crank the power. Oh my god, they're 17,000 watts each. Holy shit. Uh, we might need another nuclear power plant in that case. Advanced melee weapons. Oh, it's just two things. Galvan knuckles and karambits. Well, I mean, unlike people who play CSGO, we can just get that by researching it rather than paying thousands of dollars for a JPEG of a knife. So with regard to the factory research terminal, after doing some research with the morons over on Discord, 
Uh, we are supposed to have it unlocked, as you can see there. It's unlocked via the multi-analyzer research, but for whatever reason, another mod must be uh, removing it, overwriting it, messing around with the menu somehow. Even searching for it in uh, Dub's menu here doesn't bring it up. It's just straight up not on the list. Though, so, I've acquired one and removed the ingredients in, in the interest of fairness. They're not that expensive. No. They've given us the thing that I actually want. More of its machinery. They've also given us something called industrial power armor. Mother. As much as I would love to see Ohm running around in industrial power armor. I had to do it. I, I did this for Arcadius. Still haven't decided why I'm building them. But we've got two particle accelerators now. I mean, look. The, the, the sooner we start building up, the more we're going to have when it actually becomes relevant. So we need one data disk. And one weak AI chip. Oh, that's it. And then the rest of the components are, are conventional. So in that case, let's go data disk and AI chip. I mean, shit, we might want to build more than one. I, th I think it's probably a good idea to always have one in storage. Well, that's it. Well, there it is. Holy shit. Oh, and then you just queue up our train crafting do forever. And then we say a uh, little Arcadius the second. Get golden home to build him a very fancy golden chair as well. There you are, little Arcadius. What a great school. And now, learning. Is it good, though? Oh, yeah, it's, like, really good. Holy shit, that's insanely good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I have to do it. Hello there. General solutions! I'm sorry, it was... <sighs> um, uh, it's 40 degrees in here. It's 40 degrees. Okay. I can feel my eyes boiling in my skull. Ultra Steel Shrine to Pang Lee? Who is Pang Lee? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not reading that. These advanced bionic hands from Glitter any of the bionics that have this kind of gray and green stripe are hideously overpowered. They are, they are like, disgustingly OP. This bionic hand single-handedly gives 200% efficiency. Also, actually not bad. Oh, and 100% manipulation, too. Uh, I think we'll buy that. If that's okay. Whoa. They've got jump packs, neurocomputation, brain wiring, fracture of greatness, cosmic component, one of five. I don't think we can quite afford that one. I'll trade it for the finest antimatter. I want to keep the antimatter, though. Drugs? Drugs for tech prints? We've got 509 gold. It's impossible to use all that gold. I'm going to need gold in a minute, aren't I? Who gets the magic hand? It's an advanced barnic hand. If we give it to Ohm, it will replace one of his Arco shoulders, which is... Not really worth it. I mean, it is better. Sure. higher, uh, Same efficiency, sorry, but it gives 100% uh, manipulation. We could go all in and give it to Arcadius a second. He is the crafted dynasty, and I know we're building a specific bionic dynasty too. There's no reason to... Uh, I mean, we could outfit those guys with power arms and the, the various different skin implants. I think for manipulation, though, it just makes sense to give it to Arcadius. Oh... Not you too. <laughs> Maybe they heard me. Is this an assault on the colony? We're gonna let them go. We're gonna let them go. We don't need to kill any more of more of these poor creatures. Hello there. Kill. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to immediately retaliate on mass on the first hit, but here we are. Um. Honestly, I think he'll probably be fine. He's got that ridiculously over-the-top sword that the Vikings just weren't using for some reason. Big dick energy on the hauling bots to come in and pick up the corpses as they're... Oh, no. They do burn damage because they've got lightsabers. Ah, okay. Let's be careful, Ohm. That hauling bot was asking for it. Oh, how lovely. Cobalt proposed a lifelong commitment to cuddles. Mid a sea of polar bear corpses. That's nice. That's really nice for the colony. Machine learning. Teach machines how to improve their abilities by themselves. This is useful for smart assemblers which can learn any recipe and or bring about the robot apocalypse. Sure, why not? You know what I've really enjoyed about today? The fact that we've been able to do things without being bombarded by raids every two to three minutes. Thank you, Void. Who are we on right now? Phoebe. Oh, well, that, that makes sense. That's how that works. Game stuttered there for a second while it spawned in the group of travelers and I genuinely thought it was sending us a raid. Whoops. <laughs> I might have forgot to stop training chem fuel. So we now just casually have 9,000 chem fuel lying around the, 
the room filled with all the expensive stuff. But it's okay. Over the course of today, we have, in fact, researched fire foam poppers. So I'm going to put one of those down right there. And that'll probably be enough. We've actually got them at long last. So these things are so insanely good. If you haven't watched any of our Project Rim Factory playthroughs, or playthroughs that have had it included, these things essentially are a machine that can take any recipe. You use the data disk to download recipes to it from any workstation. Then you install that into the assemblers. And that means when you've downloaded all the recipes you'll need, especially for the end game, you can end up removing basically half your workroom and just having these assemblers do it. They're also automatic. Well, more importantly, they are automatic. I take back everything I said, actually. Shit. Now look, every time one of these horrible things have landed, I haven't intentionally scummed it up. They've just, they've just walked away without doing any damage. And I think it's time we put Ohm's magic glowy sword against a real enemy. A glowy sword, which again, as a reminder, has 783 DPS and 297 melee armor penetration. Not even could original Keith the dragon stand up to such reckless hate. But maybe Ohm can. Ohm? No pressure, big man. But, uh, kill that for me, eh? Oh. Oh. Shit. Ah. Uh. <laughs> huh. Way to make Keith the Dragon look like a little bitch, Ohm. Ah. Is that all you've got, Void? Don't say that too loud. They might actually hear us. Um. Uh, that's... That's staggering. Not not a scratch. Not even a scratch. The monster only got in a single hit. Oh, I was expecting a really epic fight there between the unstoppable Ohm and the immovable Void. Turns out we very much moved them. Move them right into the fucking grave. I'm not sure about that one, Hauling Bot, to be honest with you, friend. I'm not sure we can eat black leapers. We can give it a go. Also, credit to that fucking meat hook. That is a quality product right there. Uh, Kipos, could you butcher that for me? Uh, is it just regular? Is it just regular meat? It's just regular meat. Oh, it's not just regular meat. It's like thousands of meat. Well. Oh, all right then. Void thought they were sending us their most powerful and deadly weapon. They actually just sent us a lunch. A instant flick. Wow, it's like Arcadius is back with us. Well, this one should take home all of about two seconds flat. Thank you. Right, something better this time. Industrial bee. It keeps giving me the industrial bees. They're also only 750 research, so fine. We'll just get them out of the way. Industrial cheese making. Sure, that'll go well with my industrial bees. We can't use any of this stuff. Not not to say that the research itself isn't useful and eventually it will become useful, but we can't use any of it until we can fight mechanoids. And for that, we need to be in the spacer era. We're running out of non-gun options, unfortunately. Uh, we could go animals just to get it out of the way. Refined sleeping gas? Might go with our Tesla coils. The mining research gives a bonus to yield as well. That's insane. Though... I don't think we really need any more resources. Let's go over to here and yeah. See, the problem with the exosuits giving us 50% work speed and all of these mining bonuses is it's making our wealth go a little exponential. I don't know what the fuck happened there, but that was a jump of like 20k. This is getting a little insane. How's Arcadius doing in hindsight? 9.77. He just crossed over. 10. Look at that. God, he has hit the learning cap though. It's almost not worth him carrying on at this point. It'd be better for him to go into something else. Do, uh, do, do melee at this stage then, I suppose. We'll just kind of swap them over whenever he hits the cap like that. We need one of those for everybody. At this point, it would be better. Uh, we, we would get so much more value out of having everybody training melee around the clock than working in a quarry. Sure, it's great to have this many resources. Counterpoint. Every resource we mine is making the game harder and we get no tangible benefit for it because there's fuck what we can craft with it. Whereas if we had a bunch of training workstations all dedicated to melee, that'd be pretty nuts. Why am I building them in here when we have 
a building dedicated to learning. The original school building. I'm going to modernize it a little bit. I'm going to throw down some sterile tiles in here. I'm also going to build some actual doors. We, we, we genuinely built this building so early back that we hadn't got the research for doors yet. One by one blast doors. Oh, that's kind of high tier. Yeah, give me some of those. Barbed wire. I feel like it's a little bit late for that, but that is incredible. I'm actually really happy with this idea. I think this is going to be incredible for making sure that the next raid is more adequately dealt with. If we have people actually trained in melee, capable of fighting rather than just kind of fannying around, it's going to be pretty high tier. One thing we do need to do is craft a bunch of weapons. We've got a load of Element X32 saved up. I was kind of hoping, I will admit, that Arcadius could be good enough to craft it, but at any point, we could switch from Phoebe back to Void. Then we're screwed because half of these people don't have weapons on account of the kidnappings and whatnot. So... Why don't we get Ohm to churn out a bunch of the Element X32 weapons, whatever those happen to be. What is the best craftable? Uh, I mean, the Virtuous Treaty is technically the, the best stuffable weapon. So we can make a few Virtuous Treaties, a few Drill Spears, and a few Rocket Lances, really keep it nice and varied. Then between that and the new Work Center, Ohm's going to have a friggin' army. They're going to be tough as nails. And more importantly, we're not bringing in a shitload of wealth and potentially ruining the colony that way. I'm, I'm happy to leave it there for today. And what I'll do between episodes is I'll get as much done as we can without, it, obviously, any significant happening here. So hopefully we can jump back into this already being built and ready to go. This is going to be a good day. This is going to be a good day. Thank you, Ohm. And thank you at home for watching Ohm. Wow. Thank you to I Stab Cows. Spooty. No. Spooky Booty Banger. Night Witch. Waffles and Whiskey. Smugjack. Psychoray. Eckle Cakes, Gazoos, Rage Dragon, X Doctor Don MD, Ben B, ICC vs. Mr. Samuel Streamer, Bubka, Crow Skull, and Mr. Mosin, along with everyone else, so the executive producer tiers over on Patreon for making this episode possible in the first place. Thank you all for 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 being here for these adventures. Thank you as well to Shatulski, Astro Boogie, Asga, Squiddy to McGruff, Ad Infinitus, Yeticus, Redeemer 50288. Coldest Flame, Nox Immortalis, Snow Lauger, Astros Fan 12345, Lanath, the other 18 Covids, <laughs> Drunken Scott, Flom, Luke Jordan, and thanks for the loan, Bojo.